All right, I'm going to work on the little uh, water cool brakes again today. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to work on the head. I'm going to try and uh, drill the holes in there. I was going to use this. Uh, this is the old head. I was going to use that as a template to put the holes in, but uh, the holes in this one are actually pretty loose. It's supposed to be 5 16th, and they're kind of sloppy, you know, all over. So I grabbed this. Uh, this other head here, this came off of the, the four cylinder brakes. I had a bad helia coil, but uh, the holes are a lot better. The holes are uh, right on. I mean, the drill just barely fits in there, 5 16 So the holes are a little better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp that on there and just use that as a, as a guide and then just uh, shoot them holes in there. I'll probably put a clamp here and a clamp here drill these four holes and then bolt it in place and give her the clamps and drill them I might even drill the spark plug hole we'll see alright let me slap that together alright we drilled these four holes here uh, I drilled them about a quarter inch down that way I can I can raise the deck up here and uh, get a straighter better cut and everything and instead of drilling through and bolting them, I think I'll just uh, take some clamps now, put a clamp here and a clamp over here, and then remove these two. That way uh, I don't have to keep up. I would lower it, raising the deck and stuff. Not ready. Uh, five more to do and uh, see how it fits uh, yeah a lot of you guys are probably thinking you should be using oil and everything I mean this ain't hot hot at all and uh, I'd rather not have the mess so let me uh, continue on all right I sharpened that bit a little bit I wasn't happy the way it was cutting yeah you can tell if you have a sharp bit if you're getting these curly cues out of it or uh, or if you're getting chips, and I was getting chips, so uh, now it seems a little sharper and it's cutting a little easier, a little better, so let's see. Looks like it dulled up already. There you go, you're getting a little, little, some longer cues, little curly cues, that's a little better. See 
you get them strong cues like that, your, your drill is pretty good. So, I don't know how well you can hear me over the, over the noise of that. I don't travel on this. I'm drilling and the thing's rattling. I can't figure out what the hell's rattling. And then I finally figured it out. It's just, uh, it's just handle on the on the C clamp. I knew my stuff wasn't uh, that that raggedy. It's funny how something like that drives you crazy. All right, let me continue drilling this. All right, that worked out well. Everything lined up perfect. Now I guess. Uh, I'll uh, bolt that head back on there and uh, drill the spark plug hole and then uh, I'll cut off the excess just got to cut off this little bit right here and this little bit right here and then shape it and then uh, after that I guess we'll uh, we'll mill it out alrighty let me get to that let me get to doing that Alright, I'm going to drill a hole for the spark plug here. On the original head, if you look here, the spark plug, I'll try to get direct look at it over top. But the spark plug is, is offset because of the intake, uh, you know, the uh, intake valve. Take this off of here. Uh, this is the intake right here, and the spark plug would be right about here between the cylinder and that. I guess it's, uh, they designed it that way, you know, to. Uh, I guess for for the best firing uh, position, you know, I don't know, but you can see here, this is where your intake valve would be right here, and and then a spark plug is right next to it. But uh, I think I think for aesthetics and this design that I'm making, I think if I move that spark plug over a half an inch, it isn't going to make a difference. And that'll put it out center between these two bolts. That'll actually put the spark plug right in the right in the center of that head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think it'll make much of a difference. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I got the pilot hole started for the spark plug, but uh, what I'm gonna do with this after I put the spark plug hole in there. I'm going to mill out around here, and that's where all the water's going to go. That'll be the water chamber. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, after the water chamber's milled out, I'm going to have a piece of uh, quarter-inch aluminum here, and that's going to be uh, welded on top, you know, to to make it watertight. So what I'm going to do now is uh, transfer all these holes. To this plate here. You'll, you'll, you're probably not understanding what I'm saying, but uh, you'll see it all come together. Now, I threw it up in a vise here, and because uh, I, I won't need to drill press because these holes will keep me straight, and I'm only going through quarter inch aluminum. So let me blow them holes through there. All right, I got all the holes drilled in the top plate there, and I just bolted the head back on, and then. I uh, just traced around the bottom here with a, with a sharpie, and that's going to be the shape of the head. So let me take it off of there, and uh, we'll cut it up. All right, I got the top bolted on here to the bottom of the head. And we're going to take it over to the bandsaw and uh, try and cut it in shape, and then maybe put it on the sander.
funny how things work out. I had this back as far as you can go. And had about an eighth inch of uh, space there for that to fit. And if that didn't fit, I would have had to saw that by hand or something. Uh, I got the head over here. I've been working on it for uh, a couple of hours now. I got the one side. This one side here, I got the nice and smooth and where I want it. I got the edge rounded over. Actually, on this side, you can see it's it's two pieces of metal. But uh, where I I sanded it and everything, it almost looks like one piece, one block. And I was doing this side here and getting pretty close to finishing. And then uh, something popped. Something popped in the switch here and smoke started coming out and uh, smelled real bad. The funny thing is though, it keeps running, you know, look. But uh, like I say, it, it stinks, uh, stinks the high heavens here, so. And there was smoke coming out of that. I think it was coming out of the switch, but uh, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if they got some kind of uh, fuse or whatever, but uh, I gotta check it out. Hope this is okay. This this was an expensive uh, sander here, you know. I think it was close to 300 bucks or something. I hate to lose this, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to continue on. So I don't know. I don't know if it's enough to make a video or not. So maybe we'll see you later. Alright, I think I found something. I took the cover off here and check the switch out. The switch is okay. And then this this little hose here, I guess it just take it sucks dust out and throws it out the back. But uh pull that out of the way. Let's see if I can stay. And then there's a capacitor right here. And if you look, the front the front of the capacitor looks like it's uh, it blew out or something. It's not, it's not the smokier or blacker, or it is black, it has some kind of, sorry, I was looking at myself. You know, this, this looks like it should be flush. And it's got some kind of black stuff out here. And it has a, I can turn it. I can keep this stuff out of my way here. I can turn it. Here's the value on it. Let me see, uh, 20 microfarads. I can't see how many volt. Anyway, I don't know. I might have something. It won't be the same though. I might have to get the same one. You know, maybe that's that's probably why it still ran. I mean, this thing, I can't. You know, I I've been working on this for about 20 minutes, half hour now, and I still can't keep my put my hand on this. It's a motor. It's so hot. So uh, I must have been working hard. It's funny because I wasn't I wasn't hitting the disc sander here hard enough to put a load on it. You know, I think it was just you know I had it running steady straight for uh, over an hour. Yeah, this thing's still still hot. That's a heavy duty motor too, man. Too. So uh, let me work on getting this uh, capacitor out and see if I can find one. Alright, I took his hose out of the way, it wasn't too tough, I just had to take his other panel off over here. Panel right here. And this uh, capacitor was actually loose, it's only held on with this bolt. I guess that's the ground, and, and it had a white and a blue wire here, I didn't take off yet. You know, there is no positive or negative up here, so... Like I said, it must be the ground, and these both must be positive, so I don't, I don't know. But, uh, I was reading it, and it did say, uh... 20 microfarads, 300 volt. I probably have one, but uh, I might try and get the exact one. There's a reason. There's a reason to use this one. All right, let me go see if I can find one. Yeah, I was pulling the wires off the top of this, and the top actually popped right off. Yeah, that's where this thing came from, and all black. So, so we burnt this up. All right, so. Uh, I guess I'll call this a video because we're pretty much dead in the water. I can't, uh, I can't finish the head. Ah, oh, jeez, too. I forgot, I forgot it was so hot. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I guess we could do epoxy work on this. You know, we can start filling that in and stuff. But uh, for now, we're going to call it a video. All right. All righty. Enough of this.